morning everybody happy friday being parents while you're sick is not for the weak of heart let me just say that i read some of the comments on my last post and one of our followers said that you have to by the way it's not covid we took covid tests but i also am so congested in my lungs that i can't breathe anyway um one of my followers said that you had to double click this in order for it to turn on I guess before I do reviews on products on my channel, it might be a good idea to actually do the research, which is why I don't partner with companies in the first place. So anyway, I am going to make a very quick breakfast for Sebastian. Let's see if the blender works. <laughs> okay, so I put like just a little bit of banana and these are the Outshine brand fruit and yogurt smoothies. So I really, I don't mind giving those to him for breakfast, but okay, let's see. Aha! It's still not really blending, though. Hello? Oh, a little blend. Little blend. Okay, so you just have to beat it a little bit. But I think it's working. I think it worked. No, there's a whole banana right here. What is happening? I really want to love this product. Someone else said maybe the battery needs to be charged. But when I tell you that I charged it overnight, I did. Huh. Okay, so final review for this morning because I don't have enough energy to continue. Um, it only blended up one of the pieces of banana, but, oh, oh, all right, um, wow, okay, but what I was gonna say is this banana, it's pretty, like, melted, what, smushed in there anyways, so if I squeeze it, the banana, only a little bit can come out of that top hole, so it should be fine, good morning, Nala, 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 <laughs> She's giving kisses. Let me clean off the counter. Thank you. Good morning. Hi down there. My head was hurting so bad last night that I couldn't fall asleep until like 3.30 and then Sebastian got up at 6.30. So I'm pretty sleepy this morning, but life has to go on, right? Would you like some breakfast right here? I'm gonna try this. Here, let's get it down at the end. Mama already accidentally squirted half of it on the counter. Here. Would you like to eat? Would you like some? It's right here. Yeah. Would you like that? I think I need to go get you a chair that sits you up more. Here. Ooh, you smell like you're working on something already. Already? I can smell that through my stuffy nose. Good job. You're, you're awesome. Let me go find you a different chair, Sebastian, so you can sit up more. Here. That's better. You're sitting up much more now. He doesn't really like this chair but it's better for you to eat in. You guys heard Nala? I don't know what she's saying in the background. Good boy, you're hungry. <laughs> Woke up hungry. Here. Good, we're getting to the part with the banana. I just got squeezed a little bit harder, but here you go. There's some banana for you in there, too. Oh my good gracious. I know it's coming. I can only squeeze it so hard. Hold on. Wow. Wow. Mama, Mama's lost her mind this morning. Mama's lost her mind. Uh, along with looking at... 
I'm trying to read and reply to and interact with comments on my channel. Um, every once in a while, I go to the other page and I see how many people are here. And I can't even believe that there are almost 25,000 of you. Um, sorry about Nala. <laughs> Having a large following isn't new to us. Um, if you follow us on Instagram or if you have Instagram, I don't post there much anymore because I find that the trolls are much, much worse on Instagram. So I kind of um, actually kind of stepped away from that. This banana isn't really mushing through like I thought it would. Um, but we have had over 80,000, close to 90,000 people following Sebastian from Instagram. I know some of you um, following him on here probably originated from Instagram, so I appreciate that. My point, though, in in mentioning that in numbers is that I want to make sure... Nala, can I just get this part out and then you can come out? <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm doing my, my job as, as an advocate for Sebastian. I think this channel has become a great outlet for me and a great place to openly <laughs> and publicly process a lot of the things that have happened this last year and I'm very very thankful for that but also the whole entire reason that I started this channel was to be an advocate for Sebastian and his syndrome so going through some of the comments I saw one that didn't make me mad it didn't hurt me um, it was just an uneducated comment and that is my purpose to educate so somebody said, um, you know, I've seen other kids with, with Sebastian syndrome who can walk. Why isn't your kid walking? I would like to take this time to educate a little bit more on Sebastian syndrome and maybe tell you something you don't know about it. Starting from the very, 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 very beginning for anybody who's new here. If you are not new here, you already know this. Sebastian's syndrome is a freak genetic mutation. There is not a gene that Geo or I carry. And when we create a baby, those genes cross or mix match or deform in utero. That's not how his syndrome works. If you were to Google CDLS, Cornelia Dilling syndrome, it will literally tell you it's a freak genetic mutation. It is just something that happened. Also, that means that Sebastian was a birth diagnosis. We did not know before he was born that he would have this syndrome. There was quite a bit of amniotic fluid in my belly when I was pregnant with him towards the end, which oftentimes does indicate that there is some type of syndrome. Not always, but it can indicate that there is some type of syndrome. So we did have that conversation one time with my OB. And they said, you know, maybe Down syndrome, we're not sure. Well, you know, it was, at that point, I think I was like 30 weeks pregnant. So we just opted to just wait until he was born. Um, we did know about Sebastian's heart. We did know, I am not winning with a spoon today, um, that he would need heart surgery. Heart surgery and CDLS are not connected. Most children with, most children and adults with CDLS don't always have CDLS and heart defects. A lot of them actually don't. This is just two separate diagnoses that Sebastian was born with. I want people to change their perspective and be more shocked when healthy babies are born. It's always something that I could never understand is how people can't believe that disabled children exist. And to me, it's like, do you know how many things have to go right to have a healthy baby? How many things have to go right for your kid to be perfectly healthy? I'm just saying, maybe think of it that way. Another common assumption about Sebastian is that he's not going to live very long. And it's okay that people are curious about that. Um, I would rather people ask things kindly that they're curious about than make assumptions. But in case nobody knows here, CDLS doesn't have an effect on life expectancy. We have met through the internet quite a few adults with CDLS, quite a few young adults and adults in their 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s. 
CDLS does not affect life expectancy. The problem, or I guess the, the most fatal part of his syndrome is their immune system. Their immune system is so, so compromised that even when they get a small cold, it's not a small cold for them. Sebastian gets, when he was younger, when if he would get even just like a little cold like Gio and I have now, he would end up in the hospital needing oxygen and needing like IV medication versus just being able to take like children's Tylenol or something. So a lot of the younger children that people may have heard of or may have read about on Google or what have you, a lot of the younger children or even anybody in, in general who has passed early on is from other complications. So it's like it doesn't have a direct effect on life expectancy, but also with their immune systems being so low, a lot of them have passed early on because they don't have the ability to fight certain things off. Just pause really quick for the lesson in CDLS and look at this girl. Hold on. <laughs> Nala, what are you doing? You are a good girl. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Nala. My point in saying all that is Sebastian should live a long, healthy life. Yes, it's going to have some bumps in the road. He was born medically complex. There's nothing, you know, we can't change that. By the way, Sebastian is on his third Outshine smoothie. <laughs> I've had to refill this thing three times. He's a hungry kid this morning, which is really, really good. It's a great sign. Sebastian has only, I think, three more days on his IV medication. I'm just taking a break from the from the education lesson here. I don't want to get too. Uh, I don't want to get the conversation too washed out. But he's still doing really, really good. Obviously, off oxygen. I think he only has let's stay Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So like four full days of the antibiotic left, and then he follows up at the hospital with infectious disease on Tuesday. And they will either pull the line at the hospital on Tuesday or a nurse will come out on Wednesday. Take the line out and we will be done. Done with the antibiotics, finally. Put that tongue away, you're so cute. How is your belly not full? Do you want more? Would you like more? Yes? Oh my goodness. You're so hungry. He's getting a little more calm because he's getting a little more full. <laughs> you want more? Oh my goodness. You're a rock star. Yeah. Good morning. Huh? Can you say good morning? Hey, hello. <laughs> I think you gotta work on your landing skills, sister. That wasn't very clean. <laughs> How you feeling? You want some more? There's Zeus over there. What are you doing, old man? Hi, old man. Oh, is that Sebastian? This is my buddy. This is my buddy. Sebastian was supposed to have his first... You gonna pet him? A lot of people wonder if uh, Sebastian ever pets Zeus. Not really. But sometimes Zeus comes up and smells Sebastian's face. And um, Sebastian laughs because his little whiskers tickle him. Do you want more? Yeah, you gotta find it. It's right in front of you. It's right here. Yeah. It's okay. Um, Sebastian was supposed to have... His first day of physical therapy today, but because we're all sick, I had to cancel it. Um, I know his physical therapist works with a lot of children who are immunocompromised. Um, some of her kids, I think, are even, or they have been in the past, been on like hospice. So I had to cancel because God forbid she gets a germ and gives it to anybody else. I would never forgive myself. So therapy for him starts next Friday now. <laughs> next Friday, so it's better that way. Fridays, if you've been here for a while, you know that Gio and I usually go out for sushi and Sebastian comes sometimes and sometimes he doesn't. But I also think tonight we'll have to cancel that. 
we did take COVID tests, but whatever we have is very, very contagious because it just started out with Gio being a little bit sick on Sunday. And now I'm sick. Sebastian has started to have a little runny nose, but it seems like it kind of went away. And Gio's dad is very, very sick. So I wouldn't say very, very sick, but it's just the sinus pressure is crazy. Yeah, daddy got us all sick. Say, what the heck? <laughs> Zeus is being very patient, waiting for his breakfast. He has not eaten yet. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You sick old boy? Are you waiting for your breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> Someone's feeling pretty good with a full belly. <laughs> How you feeling down there? You getting sleepy? He's got that food coma. <laughs> food coma going on. You feel good? How you feeling? Is it good? Tell me. Talk to your mama. Talk to me. Come on. Hi. Hey. Hey. I love you so much. We're going to take a break from CDLS facts right now. I love your smile. I love your smile. You got to do meds. You got to brush your teeth. And we got to feed Zeus. Someone's a little food coma -y, sleepy. Yeah, because your belly's so full. You did so good eating this morning. Good job. <laughs> good night, Mo. Sebastian is still taking a little nap. And can you guess what we are going to do to this fireplace? We're going to paint it. <laughs> and there's going to be people on here who are super mad at us for painting over this brick. And then there's going to be people on here that don't really care. And then there's going to be people on here who love it. And I'm going to record most of it. So if you love it... Dio is going to walk you through how to paint your fireplace at home because he's done all the research. We have to clean it and vacuum it before we can start prepping it, but we're gonna wait a little bit for Sebastian to nap. Also, look at this crazy mess. We're getting more snow. You can't see because the screen, but goodness gracious, more snow. You waking up? You waking up over there? Earlier we were sharing some facts about CDLS, but I think we're gonna pause it for there because people get tired of listening to me. And hey, I can't see you. We're gonna move on to the fireplace. Hello? You don't want me to see you? No, Mom, bye. Is that what you want to do? What? Stand up. Stand up. Use your legs, <laughs> lazy bone. No. <laughs> you sad. <laughs> Is that too much work? Okay, yeah, I know. It's a lot of work. Oh, it's okay. You want to help Daddy prep the fireplace? We'll get you a nice little little paintbrush. What do you think? No. No? He's still tired. It's a lot of work, huh? All right, YouTube. For everyone that says that I'm missing, I'm here. <laughs> and I'm working as always so excuse my voice i'm still a little sick but you can see the progress everything is taped up so phase one now we gotta do the what base or something 
Yeah, so the next step, we're going to apply the primer, which I got kills. There's Sebastian over there. He's inspector. Hanging out with Zeus. So this will be the base. It's just a kills. It's just an all-purpose primer. We're probably going to put two coats on it. And then I got this stuff. So it's just black. Um, hopefully it's going to turn out more like a matte color. So it looks a little bit different in the light, but it looks good. So we will get started. By the way, you guys, I don't know if I showed you that I kind of organized this crazy weird back bedroom back here. Remember how crazy it was? There was like boxes over here and over here and Gio's clothes were on the wall over here. These um, shelves were in the walkway right there, and I just kept getting so frustrated having them there. We were always tripping on them overnight, whatever. So anyway, I just, I mean, I only moved stuff from one side of the room to the other, but it feels better in here. Sebastian's clothes, they can go away. I don't know why I haven't put them away yet, because his room has a dresser in it, so we probably need to do that. <laughs> I was coming up here to get his jammies. That's why I'm talking about this room randomly. Sebastian got his jammies. He's hanging out. And Gio so far has primed the top, but he said it takes a lot of product, so it's going to take a lot longer than we think, I think. <laughs> How's it going? It's coming out really good, though. You'll have to take the phone, give me the brush, do a quick sweep of the top. Don't drop it in the paint. Uh -huh. <laughs> So I tried with a roller and I kind of covered like the top, but as you can tell, there's a lot of texture to the brick. So it makes it very hard with the roller. So I'm just grabbing a paintbrush and just like dabbing just to get a good coat. I'll probably just do two coats. I don't want to do it too heavy. And then it just looks nasty. But as you can tell, it's a beautiful fireplace, but it's going to take some time. It's going to be more beautiful. <laughs> Yay! Say yay, boogies! You okay over here? We're watching Cheaper by the Dozen. Look at my living room. Oh boy. Oh boy. I love ya. Gio is still working on the fireplace. I just made Sebastian some chicken noodle soup, kind of. It's from a can. I added some spinach and I'm cooking some quinoa to kind of blend in there and mix and give to him. And then after that, I think we are probably going to put Sebastian in bed. Um, it's already time for his bedtime. And this fireplace is going to take hours and hours and hours. So, I'll give you guys a couple bites of dinner with Sebastian. And then he's going to go to bed. And I will probably update you on the fireplace tomorrow, depending on how much Gio gets done today. That's a lot. It's a lot. Your dinner's coming, okay? One second. For once, it's working. Probably because it's soup. <laughs> Not bad. We'll see. I think he likes it. <laughs> you like that oh my goodness that's a messy dinner can you say goodnight to everybody we're going to finish dinner and I'm going to put him in bed did you say night night no <laughs> oh my gosh say goodnight over there I'm talking to you to tell YouTube good night. Oh, night. <laughs> Gio just not nighted you guys. You say night night. We see you tomorrow.